What's going on, everybody? My name is David Braley. I'm a professional singer with more than 20 years of experience. Today, I'm back at The Voice. These are the blind auditions. We're up to about episode four. I believe this is episode three with Jackie Romeo. She's going to sing Miley Cyrus's Flowers. Here we go. <laughs> We were good, we were gold, kind of dream that can't be so. We were right till we weren't, built a home and watched it burn. I didn't want to leave you, I didn't want to lie, started to cry, but then Join I remember her. that. Wow, all right, I'm gonna stop right here. So the her tonality is the first thing that jumped out to me. One of the, there's a this newer style of singing, and I genuinely I'm brand new to seeing it. Only seen it a, f f uh, a few times, and in all honesty, when I looked at it, when I first heard it, um, I thought they were joking. Um, but no, it there is a. a it's not a new style. It's kind of like a, a reincarnation of an old sc style of um, kind of that sc jazzy scat singing um, where you change the vowels of the words and it's very, it's, it's, it's odd, but it seems that they have, they all have this tonality and it's very, it is, it's very kind of like the, the, her soft palate is very raised. She's singing incredibly placed, but she's also very, very pulled back. You could tell, you could hear the uh, gain in the microphone. Her microphone in the beginning is incredibly hot. Let's go back to that. Let me take a listen. Let's take a listen right at that beginning. You could hear it's so hot. Hear that? You could hear her breathe. So you just heard her breathe. You could hear it. We were. She's so, so, so quiet in the very beginning, which I think is fantastic because it adds the layers. The only downfall is because it is so quiet, they have the compression set where it's picking her quiet tone to make her quiet seem almost equal to her belt. Um, so I kind of wish they kind of pulled it back and allowed it to really have that nice and subtle tonality to it or subtle... Um, uh, impression to it, like maybe just uh, lower thre uh, lower threshold on on the um, uh, on the compression or something like that, or maybe a different uh, a different ratio, something like that. But um, you could really hear that really great tonality as she goes. That, uh, like I said, that new I don't know I don't even know what it's called, um, but it's very raised, very forward, very nice place. Once she starts singing full voiced. Bam, she's very safe. She has a really cool tonality, unique um, uh, uh, texture to her voice, which I really, really enjoy. Only thing I'm having a little bit of an issue with are her S's. She's not saying S's. It's like she's doing like a fat ton, like a like almost in between an S and a TH, which I also think might be that um, sort of scat singing idea, kind of tapping into that. Um, don't do that. <laughs> unless uh, unless I feel horrible if she does actually have in any way a um a, a speech impediment by no stretch of the imagination is this making fun um I know somewhat somewhat tonality and stylistically people utilize that I mean I do in some scat stuff like we that bo 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 that that like I always do this that weird thing that my friend Jason always yells at me for he hates it uh anyway I'm gonna keep going see where were we. Oh, it's not going to show. Oh, there we go. All right. We're going to go right from 45 seconds. Here we go. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well as ring the bell so you get notified every time I post new content. Thanks so much for supporting. Let's get back to it. Say things you won't understand. I could take my shoulder down chain. I could hold my own. Love. 
Hey everybody, if you're enjoying the content and you would like to see the channel grow, why don't you join us over on Patreon? On Patreon, we're going to have exclusive episodes of reactions, music history, as well as live streaming and performance behind the scenes of my travels and everything there in between all wrapped up in one place. I hope to see you over there. Until then, let's get back to it. Very, very cool. That was really, really nice. I really love that tone. I really love her texture. The texture to her voice, it's almost like, I don't want to say gravelly, because it really wasn't, there's was like an airiness, but it was, it was kind of on, on the, on a tinnier side, just really, really nice tone. Um, hopefully it is a very safe tone, because sometimes uh, the microphone can hide a lot of issues where placement is concerned. You could really hide poor placement with a microphone. Um, so she has the chances of doing it incredibly safely and it's just her natural tone, her natural voice, and there's absolutely zero problems or she's forcing it and she's gonna wear herself out really quickly. It's something I'd be interested to see her tonality and how her tonality kind of changes if there if there's any changes to her texture. Um, Stage-wise, as a musician, as a singer, as a, a she, her, her uh, musicianship, her musicality is really, really nice. Um, I loved her stage presence. She just owned the stage, walked out. She's a really, she's in that power suit and just roams the stage, walks out, takes it and just talks to the audience and really digs that entire song. Very, uh, very uh, female power, very powerful, very, uh, really, really good audition. I love it. Like I said, I'd love to see what's next and love to see what, what happens with her tonality. I'd um, like to see her move a little bit more. Um, I'd like to see her maybe, I don't know how close, how, how close she's keeping her voice in. I'd um, like to see her do something maybe a little bit more, this is up-tempo, but a little bit more dancey up-tempo. Um, no ballads, because this is very singy, this song, but something dancey, something up-tempo, something maybe a little bit more funky. That would be fun to listen for, something a little funky with a bit of a swing groove to it. That'd be really nice to hear, but we'll see what comes up with her, uh, over the weeks. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.